Welcome to Catapult Building. Here at Castlecomber Discovery Park, we teach you how to build a catapult from this into this. But first, let's find out more about these mega weapons. There are many different types of these siege weapons, but the one we will be making is based on the Traction Trebuchet, which is the oldest recorded mega weapon in history and dates all the way back to 4th century BC. The Traction Trebuchet dominated sieges as it allowed large projectiles to be fired in quick succession to break down enemy walls. It required a large crew to operate as it gets its kinetic energy from people, which we'll talk about later in this video. First, let's have a look at the structure itself. These weapons are built entirely from wooden poles and ropes. We start with the tripods, which are very important and must be tied together in the correct way to ensure it can withstand the stress of the energy. To help cope with the stress, we strengthen the tripod using two meter poles. These tripods will stand three meters tall and two meters in width. It's important that the ratio of the build will be at least three to one, which means the firing arm will be three times the size of the structure. This leads us to the next piece of the puzzle, which is the firing arm. The firing arm is tied to a crossbeam of wood and placed on top of the tripods. There is another crossbeam of wood attached to here to stop the arm at 45 degrees to release the projectile. There is a rope attached to the firing arm, which people will pull on to create kinetic energy and launch the projectile. So let's have a look at the science behind how this actually works. The traction trebuchet works on the conversion of energy. When the firing arm is lowered to the ground and loaded, it has zero kinetic energy. So we need to add some potential energy, which in this case is going to be people. When people pull on the rope, the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. But how much potential energy can an average person pull horizontally? Based on recent studies, an average person can safely pull up to 30% of their body weight horizontally. If the average weight of a person is around 70 kg, this means they can pull about 21 kg. So we'll need to add more bodies if we want more potential energy. Ideally, given the size of our catapult, we would need at least six people to pull on the rope to give enough potential energy for our projectile to fire into the distance. Now I know what you're thinking. Let's add loads of people. So if we add too many people to pull the rope, we run the risk of creating too much kinetic energy, which leads the catapult to crumble under the force. Interested in building your own historic catapult? Call down to Castlecomber Discovery Park to put your knowledge to the test.